This is Brandon Howard, a spitting image of Michael Jackson. But that's not all. Do you think your father was too strict? Yes. No, he's going to kill me. Well, I first started singing and stuff. Uh, everything pretty much was like around, like when I was three or four. He talks like Michael and sings like Michael. Another day is gone. I'm still alive. So when the internet became awash with stories about him being Michael Jackson's son, it was hard not to believe it. I'm not so sure about that, Michael. Michael never publicly acknowledged Brandon as his son. Did Brandon simply master the art of talking and singing like Michael Jackson after discovering he was Michael's doppelganger? I bet you'd think you saw a ghost if you came across this Michael's doppelganger from Mexico. Hola, Colombia. Soy Sergio Cortez. Well, several people who knew Michael Jackson personally believe Brandon is Michael's son. Aaron Carter, who was Michael's close friend, believed Brandon looked more like Michael than Paris, Prince, and Biggie. B. Howard looks more like his son than anyone else. Look up B. Howard, Michael Jackson. That's his real son. Okay. And the world doesn't even really know it. Akon, who had worked with both Brandon and Michael Jackson, thinks so too. Who's Brandon Howard? He's a young guy, entertainer, looks like Mike, sounds like Mike. You would thought it was Mike. When I see him, I can't, I can't believe who was he. To better understand this, we must go back to where it all began. Michael Jackson was nearly every girl's dream at the peak of his career. They fainted, cried, and did many crazy things at the sight of him. As is the case for most celebrities, many young girls wanted to date him, even if it was just to become his baby mama. That would be a dream come true. So there were numerous claims from ladies Michael Jackson had never met saying he got them pregnant. Therefore, when the story of B. Howard first emerged, many people quickly dismissed it as one of such bizarre claims. In 1982, Michael Jackson released the hit song Billie Jean. Interestingly, Howard was born a few months before the release of Billie Jean. Billie Jean is one of the greatest songs of Michael Jackson's career. It introduced the famous moonwalk. The song goes, Billie Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl who claims that I am the one. But the kid is not my son. Was the song referring specifically to Howard? Because from a young age, it was pretty obvious he looked like Michael Jackson. The answer isn't straightforward. There are many clues one needs to piece together. In the early 80s, Mickey Howard, Brandy's mother, was an upcoming music sensation who went by the name Billie. Incidentally, her first manager was Joe Jackson, Michael's father. Rumors have it that Michael and Mickey had a fling at that time, but it didn't last long. Brandon was born shortly after. However, nobody knew who Brandon's father was, and initially not even Brandon himself. In 2012, Mickey Howard admitted that both of her sons spent their weekends at the Jackson's Havenhurst home since they were born. Joe Jackson was my first manager ever. His children. Jermaine and, and all of them were always wonderful to me. My children got picked up every weekend along with the rest of the children as if they were Jacksons. Even if I kicked them out, they had somewhere to go. They could go to the Jackson compound and Catherine let them in and, and you know, and I knew they were safe. And this has go been going on forever since they were born. Meaning he was treated like family, but no one told him he was family. He said during an interview with Philman that he was just seven or eight when someone from the Jackson's family told him he was Michael's son. When did you find out Michael was your dad? Or when did you first hear that Michael was your dad? First heard about um, him being my dad was when I was seven or eight. How did that happen? Well, I was running around and stuff, and I had a talk with someone, and I don't want to do anything like this. And they said, you know, such and such will be that. And he found me. Was that person in, in, in the family? Yeah. Brandon, however, revealed that he was not interested in suing Michael's estate. Would you challenge the estate to be the rightful heir? one of the rightful heirs to Jackson's estate. I would never change the estate like, for anything. I don't want anything from them. I'm content with what I have. 
completely where I'm trying to build. But if he was indeed Mako's son, why wasn't anyone publicly admitting to it? The biggest drama regarding the story came in 2014, after TMZ wrote a bombshell article titled, Michael Jackson, self-professed long-lost son going public with DNA evidence Thursday. In the article, they wrote, sources close to Brandon tell us, Mickey and MJ met in 1982 and Brandon was born soon after. They concluded the article by writing, once the DNA results are revealed, he plans to go after the MJ estate for money. That implied that Brandon was only after Michael Jackson's fortune. Now, that's not a good thing to write about someone trying to find their parents. That news broke the internet, prompting a reaction from Brandon. Hey, what's up everybody? Um, this is B. Howard. It seems a lot of people are speaking on my behalf and this TMZ thing and all that. So, I'm just going to keep this short and simple, okay? Number one, I did not call TMZ or anything like that. Didn't put out a story, nothing. Number two, I've never self-proclaimed to be Michael Jackson's son. Number three, I'm definitely not suing the estate. I've been taken care of very well. And also, I make my own cash, okay? Number four, it is true I did a DNA test, but this is not anything, had nothing to do with any of this. I swear on my life. I'm done. I just, wherever you guys go from here, wherever you go from here, that's, that's what it is. And whatever the DNA test comes out to be, the reason, results is what it is. Shortly after, Philman founder Alki David released a bombshell press conference claiming the DNA test result proved that Michael Jackson and B. Howard shared 99.99% DNA. They compared Brandon's DNA samples with Michael's DNA gotten from an old orthodontic device which they bought from an auction. DNA medical lab parental testing result and it says in here the probability of parenting is 99.9%. .9%. Wow. I think we have it approved. However, TMZ would later release a report titled MJ's alleged son DNA test results are bogus. They revealed that the lab where the supposed DNA test took place did not exist. They also revealed that a reverse image search of the logo shows a bunch of results for Terminator Salvation. After those damning revelations, many people accused Brandon of faking Michael Jackson's voice and trying hard to look like the late King of Pop. Shortly after, a man named Augie Johnson emerged, claiming to be B. Howard's true father. There were even rumors that Brandon was instead the son of Joe, which would make him Michael's brother. However, Mickey Howard would later debunk those claims by saying that she was Brandon's mother and father since he was born. She also revealed that she signed a non-disclosure agreement with the Jackson family, preventing her from discussing the matter publicly. Did Michael keep Brandon a secret so he could enjoy a peaceful life away from the spotlight? In 2016, he listed Michael and Joe Jackson as some of the people who have protected him throughout his life. So, even if there is no public acknowledgement that he is Michael's son, the Jacksons have taken care of him all his life. Right now. Brandon is a talented songwriter and music producer whose work include Neo's I Ain't Gotta Tell You and Omarion's Can't Get Tired Of Me, to name a few. He probably doesn't need to prove to the world that he is Michael Jackson's son.